Hey there, it's Ashley. Welcome back to Create Full Art. We're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day and to start out with, we're going to create this beautiful marble painting. And look at how it shimmers. That's the glitter I added to it. I'll show you how to do it. See how the heart makes you feel loved for Valentine's Day? You can add this to your wall. It's so pretty. Yours is gonna be pretty too. Are you ready to get started? You will need an old 9 by 13 baking sheet, a big piece of parchment or freezer paper, I am using a 12 by 12 inch canvas, painters or masking tape, four to six plastic disposable bottles, Liquitex pouring medium, acrylic paints, and just optional is gel glue and glitter. Step one, tape edges. Use your masking tape and tape the sides of your canvas with half overhanging the top of the canvas on all sides. This will keep the fluid contained so it does not fall over the edge. Make sure that the tape is secure to the canvas and the overlapping tape is secure to the tape under it so that there are no cracks or crevices for the fluid to escape. Step two, mix paint. I am filling my bottle about a quarter amount with the Liquitex pouring medium. Then I add just about a tablespoon of my acrylic paint to my pouring medium. I put my lid on nice and tight and shake it up. Shake it really well. Choose about four to six colors that you like. I suggest having a dark color and a very light color for contrast and then all the other colors should be somewhere in between. You will need to add white acrylic paint to the pouring medium to get a white or to lighten any colors. Step 3. Spread paint. Before we get started with creating our art, remember that this is a process art project, so you will not know what the end result is going to look like. The goal here is to learn the process and become familiar with the products. First, you're going to paint your canvas with the different colors that are in the bottles you mixed up earlier. Taking off the lid works best for this step and just slowly pour your colors on the canvas. But don't use all of your colors up at first, you still want to keep some for later. After you have some colors on the canvas, you'll need to move your canvas around to get the colors to move around and cover the entire canvas. Be sure to rotate and shake if you need to to cover the canvas. The goal here is to cover the entire canvas with paint. If you need to, add additional colors to fill in any areas that are missing paint. Be creative with adding the paint and have fun. Remember, you're learning the process here. Step four, add designs. You can add your lid back on if you want more control and just pour on any designs you would like. I am going for a heart shape, but the paint is still moving so it may not even look like a heart later. It is still fun to play with. The longer I let my painting sit, the more it morphed into something quite far from a heart. Step 5. Remove tape. This is a tricky step and messy. You may want to wear gloves as this paint is hard to remove from fingers. Make sure you have covered any areas you don't want the paint to get on, like your clothes, floor, and the table. You can skip this step if you wish, but your canvas will have no paint on the sides, obviously, and there will be a small lip where the paint met the sides of the tape after it dries. You can paint the sides later if you decide to do this. I'm going to remove my tape a little at a time and let my paint drip over the edges. This of course will move my paint and the picture will change. But I want a mixed paint look on the sides of my canvas because I'm leaving it unframed. I remove the tape a little at a time and add more paint to the sides as needed. And I use my fingers to blend the paint on the sides. Notice that I am not moving my canvas at all at this point. And if you look at my fingers, you'll see the mess I made. Step six, add glitter. This step is optional, 
but it looks really awesome. The glitter stays on top of the surface and shimmers in the light. This painting dries shiny, so add that with the shimmer of glitter and it looks really pretty. So if you like, add glitter. I'd recommend adding it. Sprinkle it around the canvas, adding it to places you want it to really stand out. Step 7. Add final touches. I am mixing two of my colors with white to get a lighter version of the same colors and adding it to my painting for some final touches. I use the end of a painting brush to add some drips and splashes here and there. Just play around until you feel good about it. Ta-da! There's my finished marble heart painting for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed following along and making your own awesome marbled painting. This is a great project to do with a group of friends or with the whole family. So go ahead and share it with them, get a group together, and make some awesome art. Now that you're done, go ahead and push that like button. It really helps me out. And if you're feeling extra extraordinary, please share with your friends on Facebook, share your artwork on Instagram, and let people know about createfulart.com. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time when we create another Valentine's Day art piece. Isn't my painting pretty? I think it's so pretty. It's got all my favorite colors. It's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, don't you? I think you should think it's beautiful. Uh-huh. I think yours is going to turn out great, too. <laughs>